And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Chicken War, a strategic guessing game. This is from Think Fun. Think Fun does a lot of puzzly style things. You'll notice them for their puzzles, one person puzzles, but this is a multiplayer game in which you are building a chicken army, and you are either trying to get all your chicken army to have matching traits, although slightly different than you might think, and or take out the leaders of the opposing chicken armies by figuring out who their leader is. Some interesting things that you might not expect in this game. Let's take a look. In this game, there are two ways to win. One is to have a complete chicken army, which we'll talk about in a second. The other is to use one of your eggs and guess the identity of your opponent's leader. At the beginning of each game, you're going to use this big shield that you have and put it around here, and you're going to secretly pick one of your chickens to be the leader, putting a token underneath theirs so no one can see it, and that's your leader. And then you'll reveal it. Then on your turn, you're going to have some options that you can do. You can lob an egg at an opponent's chicken. Let's say that's the leader. If you're correct, you win the game. Um, if you are in, well, I'm sorry, if you're correct, they're eliminated from the game. You don't necessarily win. If you're incorrect, you will have to discard two of your chickens and you can't win until you have 10 chickens. Uh, otherwise, you're going to draw the top chicken from the chicken pile, and you can either add it here and replace one of your chickens, or you can just discard the one that you drew. You also have two special tiles, Infiltrate and Steal, which you, here you can steal a chicken from any yard, switch one of your chickens with one from any player's yard, and they must reveal one trait their new chicken has in common with the leader. But you can only use each of these once. So how do you have a complete chicken army? Well, in this particular case, I do have a complete chicken army. Are you surprised? Well, here's the thing. Each chicken has four traits that we're looking at. You're looking at their eyes. They either have nothing on, sunglasses, or a mask. You're looking at their weapons. They either have a spatula, a whisk, or a frying pan. You're looking at their color shirt, green, blue, or red. And then you're looking at their footwear, nothing, sneakers, or boots. Now in this case, I picked this chicken to be my leader. To win the game, each of your other chickens must have two and only two traits in uh, that match your leader. So if, you know, I have multiple things, so for example here, this chicken has a red shirt, no shoes, no glasses, and a pan. Red shirt, no shoes, no glasses, and a whisk. Three things match, that doesn't work. It has to be two and only two. So for example, this chicken matches red shirt, no shoes. Whisk, no shoes. Red shirt, whisk. Whisk, no shoes. Uh, no shoes, no eyewear. No eyewear, whisk. Whisk, red shirt. Whisk, no eyewear. Red shirt, no eyewear. That's perfect, but that did not happen by accident. I set that up ahead of time. That's how the game's played. You're just going to keep going until someone gets them all correct by switching in and out, or until someone guesses correctly the opponent's eggs and eliminates everyone but yourself. It's super interesting to me that these eggs, which are kind of a focal point, like, look at the cool eggs you get. They're really such a minor part of the game. Yes, you, you launch them at your opponent, but, you know, these eggs, which you can see fit here and it's a nice plastic in insert, the game's really about these. And they did such a good job. Like, there's the body shape that has nothing to do with anything. Um, although I suppose that could be a fourth one, maybe. I mean, a fifth attribute. But the everything's easy to tell apart, but it's not easy to tell at a glance. I mean, these chickens look almost exactly the same, but they have two differences on each of them. And you can't look at an army and say, oh, there's lots of red shirts. I mean, this army, if you look at it, there's a lot of whisks. So if I'm looking at my opponent, I might say, oh, no, definitely whisk is probably one of the things. So I'll eliminate these three characters. And then of them, there's more, there's four red shirts, five red shirts, and three green shirts. So red. So it's a red whisk, which brings me down to these three. Then I can look and say one, two, three, four, five feet. So it's probably feet. So red whisk feet. Well, that leads to this one. So that may be it. 
There's a deduction style thing going on here. The tiles themselves, really good quality. I like that these shields are included, although you literally only use it for setup. And the artwork is a lot of fun. Good components. This game is so fascinating to me because it is not this, oh, it's not like guess who, like oh, I'm sitting there the whole time going, mm, what am I going to, oh, what are they trying to do? Because you're simultaneously trying to match chickens to your leader without giving away who your leader is. So I'm looking at all my chickens. I draw a tile. You can draw off top of the draw pile or the top discard one. So if it's a top discard one, that's definitely going to be, I'm going to draw it if it's one that matches my army. And I don't want to make it too obvious what my stuff is. So I'm trying to get a nice mix, but you want to get 10 out there. Meanwhile, trying to figure out what your opponent's one is. And I, I tell you, so far since I've played, people have won mostly. I, in fact, only I've seen people win from getting all 10 of theirs. I've seen people attack others. I've seen people eliminate someone else, but I haven't seen someone eliminate everybody else. And it's tricky. I sat and made that chicken army up that you just saw that all matched, right? I sat and made it up outside of a game for the purpose of this video, and it took me a while to do, to make sure that the, the traits, you have to keep looking at your chicken, nothing else. Matches, doesn't match, matches, doesn't match, good. Matches, 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 up, oh, no good. That's interesting. I've never played a game that was quite like this. It's not like everything, it, they have to match in two and only two things. Ah, uh, which I think means you match with, I don't know what the, the numbers are. I'd have to sit down and work out the percentages of like each chicken matches how many others in the deck. But they all look different. They all look fun. It's, it seems like a light, silly game, but there's more depth to it than you might imagine. It's a fun two-player game as you're sitting there back and forth and the tension grows because you're trying to grow your chicken and at the same time trying to figure out what the opponent's army is. And I think in that one, you get three launches and sometimes you might launch early because you'll get rid of two chickens from army you don't care about. And at least you've eliminated one of their chickens as a leader. If you see they have a lot of red shirts, I might hit one of the red shirts, um, hoping, hoping that maybe I'll get the leader if I'm lucky which could happen, um, or at least eliminate that person as the leader. So now maybe something else that I was leaning to is it. It's a cool little game. And I'm telling you, people are going to walk by, look at this, and think either light or kids. And yes, it does work with kids. It says 8+, plus, and it works with children in that regard. But I'll tell you what, there's something more to this game. This is one of those ones I was certainly surprised to play. That's Chicken War. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you all next time. Dice Tower Judgment approved. <laughs>